Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So since my trip to Jack's Con, which we had an absolute blast, Ruthie and Heather both brought home awards for their, their builds. I brought home a couple. I just had a great time with friends and uh, just just an absolute blast. People have asked me in the video, in the comments of the videos, did you buy anything when you were down there? And I thought, they must not know me very well. But yes, I did, and I wanted to take this video to show you what I brought home. Um, but first, I want to talk about these two things here. I brought these home from the show, and they are shop cards from Old Tom, a Rambler <coughs> Rambler '69. He was there at the show. His his uh, 32 Ford took a uh, had a got a gold award, um, but this is a Tom White, Rambler 69, Old Tom. Go visit this channel. I'll link it in the description. Uh, I guess, how do you say it? He's an expert builder. I'm just a, like a, uh, kind of just a builder. He is one of those guys that can win a show, like overall win. So, um, yeah, go over and check his channel out. Rambler 69. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate those. Another thing that was given to me, <clears throat> excuse me, was a kit here. And this kit came from Fred Henry. Fred Henry's a friend of mine, uh, a fellow modeler, a fellow YouTuber. And he says that he had something for me. And uh, so we went and got it. And I was like, oh, yeah. So there, th he, brought, he gave me one of these. I had one already. And uh, this is definitely going to be able to get built. This kit comes with this with the metal tin, and it comes with each of these. And uh, yeah, so thank you, Fred. It's the Fiat and Fiat Altered, and what's the other one called? O Open Dragster. So yeah, go over there and check out Fred Henry's YouTube channel. It's under Fred Henry. That's that's the channel name. I'll also link Fred's in the description box below so you can go check out fred's channel but thank you fred for this kit i really appreciate that all right now into the actual i can find somewhere to put this i'm running out of room folks oh got something else got something else okay another thing i brought home there's this guy that gives out creepy skeletons and his name's Rick Zink. And that's his channel as well. He's a fellow YouTuber. But Rick give, gave these to my one to Heather and one. Uh, Ruthie already had one. Uh, he had given to me at, at, uh, at Atlanta or Acme to give to Ruthie. And uh, one of these, I can't remember which one was which, but one of these is Heather's. And one is Ellie's. So go check out Rick Zink. I'll also link Rick in the description below. And Rick Zink Skeletal Remains Auto Scale Model Restoration, I think is the channel name. It's anyway, it's under Rick Zink. Anyway, thanks, Rick. Those are pretty cool. He, he gives these out, it's not like uncommon. Rick's, Rick's going to give somebody a skeleton. All right, okay. So, the first one that I bought is so I built the 1912 model, model T, right? I built the Testers 1912 Model T. Well, as I was looking through the vendors, I saw this. And it was like, um, let me tone this light down a little bit. I saw this kit, and it was like, okay, that says Academy. That says 1912 Model T, and it's a 1 16th scale. That's the same car. And it is. It's molded in a different color. It's got red rather than black, but that doesn't matter. And it's still got the, uh, um, Actually, these wheels, I didn't think about it. These wheels are are gold as well, where the wheels that on the one that I built were um, unpainted because they were to be green. But these are brass. And I was looking for another kit to replace the one that I built with. And I took it to, <clears throat> to uh, Jack's Con. It did not place did, or did not receive any awards, but it was fun to have it there. But anyway, this is a, uh, a Academy... 1912 and I was looking it says I don't know if this is true or not but it's got um where's it at copyright date 1980 now the 
the tester's kit that I did was 1980, but this box just doesn't look like 1980. Or it's in really good shape if it was, but I don't even know if Academy Hobby Model Kits was around then. Anyway, regardless of the fact, I got another one. So here's the replacement. Some of you guys are like, you're going against everything, all everything you stand for, Matthew. <laughs> Some of the like because of the kit bashing and and building if i didn't have more than one and i built it anyway here's here's the backup so i got one to replace it so i don't like to build it unless i have more than one because you know i don't have it anymore it's built already it doesn't count anymore okay what's next here get these guys here so they had raffles and the raffle um I bought like 20 tickets or 30 tickets for $20, I think. And uh, I ended up, I ended up winning like literally, oh man, I don't know, 10 kits. It was ridiculous. I, I, I honestly, so I had to start giving them away because I didn't have anywhere to put them. Um, Jethro 49, or I think, what's his channel? 79 Jethro 49. Um, Jethro was he and I he's another fellow youtuber by the way if you haven't checked out Jethro's channel check it out in the LinkedIn link linked in the description below I'll put Jethro's channel there but Jethro and I were standing there at the raffle table and uh, I'd already had one of these Davey Allison kits I already had won one from the raffle and here comes another one and I was like Jethro could you use a could you use a, a, a 28 Albert lane he's like yeah me and my son would build them so anyway I, I just started, Heather was standing there literally with both arms completely full of uh, NASCAR kits. So I just, I handed the majority of them over to Jethro. And um, anyway, this is one that I kept. Um, Davey Allison, 124 scale. I think I have this kit. I do. I have it straight up above my head. Anyway, I've, I've got two of them now. So here's a Davey Allison. It was, has a Michaels price tag. And uh, look at the date on the price tag. It's 1993, which is cool. For 10 bucks. And uh, anyway, there's one of them. Another raffle uh, that I won is this, the Miller High Life. Um, oh, by the way, David Chin. Uh, David Chin, fellow YouTuber. David Chin, by the way, linked in the description below is David's channel. He built this and took it to Acme and looked great. He also built it on his channel, so you can go check it out. But I got this in the raffle. Still got a ticket stuck to it. But um, I have now two of these. So I may build one. Really cool. AMT 125th scale IndyCar or cart or whatever it is. And here's another one that some of you guys might be more interested than me. But it's this. So this was the first one that I got from the raffle. The very first raffle win that I got. So it's Racing Reflections. It's it's Ravel Collection. Um, 124 scale. Oh, it's limited production. One of 5,000. I probably won't ever build it then. And it's a Dale Earnhardt Jr. You guys remember when he drove this car? I guess it was just a really short amount of time. I thought that was a Mike Skinner's number or something like that, maybe. I don't know, but anyway, this is it's pretty neat. It's got Dale Earnhardt Jr. when he was just starting out. And uh, I got this kit. Like I say, at, at as a raffle win. Since 1997. So, these are the raffle. The raffles that I won. And uh, like I say, I literally must have won 10 kits. I, I just didn't have anywhere to put them. Some, some of you probably are thinking, you're spoiled. You're just giving them away. Hey, I gave them to a fellow modeler, okay? Get off my back. All right, so uh, now <clears throat> I've got a few more. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Any particular? I don't think there's really any particular order here. But here's a couple more. Here's a neat one. And this one might get revisited. But this is a little 40 Ford Lindbergh, and it's 32nd scale. And um, I was watching Lucas C, and he, had, he was revisiting some small scale stuff because... BG over at, uh, they're having a small scale build that I'm not taking a part in, but I could have because I got like a ton of these things now, it seems like. But I've got this 1979 edition of the 44 convertible 32 or 132 scale 
by Lindbergh, and I thought that was pretty cool. Got it for $5. It's in the wrapper still. Pretty cool. All right. Uh, next is this Monogram 44 pickup. Now, this is a... Okay. I've got... <clears throat> this kit has been re released... Where's it at? I'm looking for it on my shelf over there because well, I moved it. There it is. So this kit has been released several times. I think this is more or less the original release. I, I would think. I haven't done any research on it yet, but it's got the opening doors and they made this, they re released this kit several times. This kit is uh, copyright date 1973. And th this, so this is an old kit, an old early release of the 40 Ford pickup. I don't know. Maybe it is the very first one of it. It's got a little extras like the side pipes, um, scoop on the hood and things like that, that the other kit didn't have and the delete bumper deletes and things like that. More than likely it has bumpers in it. But anyway, I saw this kit for $10. Guys, there was this one fellow with the table. All of his model kits were $10. And that's where I got most of mine from. I'm like $10. I don't care if the box is a little smushed. You know, I can live with that. Um, so apparently in 1973, Mattel owned Monogram. There's a bunch of text coming in. But anyway, early Iron Series, 44 pickup, 124 scale. So this is really cool. A great ad. All right, the next one here is really cool. Anybody that's a hot rodder has got to have a 41 Willys. So here is a 41 wheel street rod, um, 125th scale from Ravel. What year? 2001. Um, yeah, you see a lot of these built up. This one's cool. It's got the big meaty street tires on the back. Got a big blown Hemi. Uh, the early, I think it's the early edition Hemi, like 330 or what, something like that. Whatever. Um, it may be a. It may be a. Um, later model but I don't see a distributor I think the distributors in the rear I think it's the, the early model Hemi produced by Dodge or Chrysler or whoever but anyway got this one for 10 bucks as well and uh, this would be great to build I need another uh, show car I don't want to always take the same stuff that's a cool one and then just to add to that is this another 41 Willys um, the, these things are just so cool, but I think this is like more like a this is the Street Demons edition, and I haven't even I didn't look for the year, but this one has more age. Okay, yeah, definitely a lot more age. As a matter of fact, 1983. So I had mentioned previously, I, these these bring back memories. Oh boy, do these bring back memories to me. My dad, I think it was this 56 right here. He built. I think it was this 56. That he built that kit. I've got to get that kit. That 56 Ford F100. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure that's the one. That, there's a memory in, stuck in my brain. That won't all. I can't completely retrieve it. But it was a 50's model Ford truck that he built. And, and I'm thinking that it was that 56. But anyway, regardless. This was $10. $10. Absolutely perfect condition. This one has opening doors. I'm not... A hundred percent. Did that one have? So this one has. I'm, I'm thinking this is probably the same. Pretty much the same car. Although this one doesn't have a Hemi. What does that thing have? Blown Olds engine. So it's got an Oldsmobile. Um, but if you notice on this, on this one, it's got rather large hinges. But I'm not sure. They do have different grills, but that wouldn't be hard to change. That's just a grill. I'm not sure if they're the same kit or not, but this one definitely has opening doors. And this one has the hinges, you know, of that look like they would open. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I'll open them and check it out. But yeah, it might say it if I read it. Blown 392 Hemi. Okay, so. I was right on that. Um, 
I was trying to see if it had opening doors. I don't think it does. Anyway, all right. So cool. There's those. Those out of the way. Got some more here. Another stack. All right. Here's a cool one. How much was this one? Ten bucks. One twenty-four scale Plymouth GTX Street Machine. Look at that thing, man. Isn't that cool? It's a little bit faded on the top here. Who cares? It's not faded on the side. It's got a. You can do the two the tunnel ram or the the two four barrels on the low rise intake. It's got different wheels, two in one kit. It's got looks like a. Um, if you'll notice there, it looks like it's got that hood that would pop up whenever you throttled it. You know, vacuum would open that open that uh, that hood up. But this one's from 1986. So this one's definitely definitely got some age on it. I was 10 years old right here when this came out. So this is right around the time I was building model kits. And these are this is so great to get this for $10. You ain't getting it nowhere else that cheap. I can promise you that. All right, so next is this, the weight of a brick. I am not lying. This thing is heavy. You would think it had um, three trucks in it, but it can be built three ways. Lindbergh 34 Ford pickup truck, 125th. I heard it was a real nice kit, and just to look at it, the pictures, I've seen this re, uh, redone, you know, repopped or whatever at Ollie's before, and it was like, oh, that looks kind of cheesy. But someone told me, said they said, this is actually a really nice kit. You should get it. So I saw this one for 10 bucks, and I got it. And I want to see if I can find a date on this particular kit because it's an older one from Lindbergh, I think. Uh, yeah, 1993. That's not really that old, but anyway. So I got this, and uh, be neat to neat to build. Now, what's so you see this kit here I built that I built a 34 Ford by AMT it was from the old it was old molds and everything else the old AMT I wonder if this is the same I wonder if at this point in 1993 did Lindbergh have part in AMT or did they they share molds or anything like that I'm not sure but it looks really similar but I bet it's not because I noticed the wheels are not the spoke wheels they look more like a steel like a steel wheel I don't know we will see but I thought that was a pretty good kit for ten dollars and here's another edition that I've already got some of but I entered so Russ Davis Ford Thunderbolt I entered my Thunderbolt in the uh, in the show it didn't it didn't uh, bring home any award but I love that car um, I have Oh, let me see. One, two more of these, actually. So this is three more. And then I've got two of the Tasca Ford Thunderbolt. But these are great. Man, these are awesome kits. I saw one time a dude took... It was at the Charleston, North Charleston uh, show that I went to. He had this engine in a Moebus, like, 70 Ford pickup or 68 or something like that. Anyway, he had taken that... 427 even with the uh, ram uh, air pipes and, and he had put it in there so not to say i'm going to kit bash this but it also only cost ten dollars guys it's insane that this guy was selling these kits for his cheap you can tell it was someone's collection that had been bought and uh but still i, I just feel like that that was he could have made more money than that this is 1990 and uh, again if you can get your hands on one of these these are great kits. They're very, very detailed, especially the engine, and uh, just a classic, classic uh, factory drag car. And and I know some people say it's not a factory drag car because it was sent somewhere else, but it was still kind of a factory drag drag car. All right. So next, here's a cool one. I'd been looking for this kit, and guess what? Yeah, I got it for ten dollars. I had been looking. This one was like on the floor, so I'd walked by it. I'd already bought several kits from this guy, and I went back. Um, this is the 55, just like what Miss Heather, <laughs> Miss Heather, Heather, I don't know, I call her Miss Heather sometimes, not to her, but it's like I'm speaking about someone else, maybe to a child or something. But anyway, Miss Heather, Heather, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. This is the same truck that she built, but an older version. 
and oh wow it's way older than i thought i didn't think it was that old so this is the 1981 release of the 55 ford stroh's bohemian beer Ooh, well they couldn't do that today i had been i had been wanting this kit um because it's look at the barrels isn't that cool does it come with them heck if i know but i think it does let's see does it say it comes with the barrels 55 Ford version, this custom loaded with the latest accessories. Um, Stroh's beer markings, custom chassis, independent body hood open to show. Yep. Kit includes, where's it say right there? Five beer barrels. <laughs> That's crazy that I'm excited about the beer barrels, but I thought it's a cool kit. Number one, you don't get anything with beer labels on them anymore because that's just... You know, you can't do that, or they won't allow it. But um, in this kit, rather than Miss Heather's had... There it is again, Miss Heather, sorry. Rather than Heather's having the fuel injection, this one has the... Um, it will have the, the twin or three two barrels or something like that um, on the small block forward. Uh, Kim's custom garage, he built the... I don't know if it was this one, but anyway, it was, a, it was one with the carburetors. And it looked much like this. I think even this has side pipes too, where hers didn't have side pipes. But anyway very cool kit and you're not going to get this one super cheap if you'll look on the internet you'll pay i don't know four or five times what i paid for it and here's something that's real cool i got this little so i told ruthie i said ruthie you know if you see something you'd like you know that interests you you know i'm trying to motivate her right uh, tell me we'll get you we'll get you something and she saw a few doom buggies and one of them was um had some age to it it was like 35 dollars but it only literally only had like five parts it was so simplistic she was like oh that's not any fun and then i got looking around and this is a repop 1997 of the gypsy doom buggy and at least it has an engine and it has some parts to it and i got it for ten dollars and she says that's cool dad so so this hopefully will be Maybe Ruthie's next build. Maybe we can get her on that. And, and uh, it'll be a really quick. It won't be a... There's there's probably not a whole lot to this thing. But I thought that would be neat. And uh, something... I don't want to burn her out on, on these bare metal foil jobs. And these paint jobs that, you know, you got to try and get to shine just right. I want her to have fun, too. Because that's what this hobby is about. It is about having fun. And it's not always about trying to do something you know perfect something so I, I we got her this kit and i can't wait um for her to start on it and i think now i'm at the i think this is yeah yeah i got one more and you probably already saw it in the um you probably already saw hold on just a second i gotta grab something you probably already saw it in the uh in the thumbnail but oh well let me grab it Okay, so the last one to show you is this. And I know I'm burning you out on the turbine cars, but I came across this guy in its original wrapper or plastic wrap. Um, I hold my finger over the price, so I don't want to shock anybody. But anyway, it was, a, it was it's in its plastic. When I walked up to that, to that guy, it was, I also got the 1912 Model T from the same guy. I saw this turbine car and I saw the plastic and I was like, whoa! And I was expecting the, the price to be much more. I got this thing cheaper than the ones that I bought off eBay. Um, and so this makes three of these things that I've got. So here's the other two. So I've got this first one that I got with that clear um, plastic, that red, clear red plastic, which is just weird. It's like you could see through it. And then I got this one, which is an original. This is a repop back in the late 70s. This is the original done in the 60s. So I've got this one. And now I have one that's in its original wrapper. Again, a repop from the late 70s, but it's in its wrapper and pristine um it's not it's got one little crease on the box right here but that's definitely not hurt so i've got 
now I've got three of these turbine cars and I think I don't <laughs> as I watch YouTube and I don't know how you guys do but there's I mean I know there's mixed emotions with Steve Magnanti Mign Mign or whatever you say Steve Mag Steve you know he's the guy that's on Barrett Jackson talking about the cars he's got his own channel his own YouTube channel now and it's growing and it's far surpassed my channel already but it's still it's a very informative channel uh, to watch um, but I think he's been watching my videos because as soon as I started breaking out my turbine or getting these turbine cars and looking at them Steve Mignotti starts to have videos specifically on the turbine car now he has been maybe it's total coincidence but he because he is a um, he is a very much of a historian he knows his stuff as far as I can tell it's an interesting channel and I like to watch it um, but he was talking about Joe uh, Johan as he would says his proper pronoun pronunciation Johan it was Joe uh, John Hanley or something like that so anyway but I, I noticed and I told my wife Heather I said I think he's watching my channel because as soon as I start introducing my turbine cars then he has a, a, a he has a, a uh, episode on just the turbine car anyway regardless if he is or not they're a cool one of the supposedly one of the most detailed they are super detailed actually the original here has much 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 more crisp oh and he even mentioned that in his videos how's the chrome trees in these newer ones have so much flash this original kit is pristine i mean the 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 um the the molds were just brand new and, it, and it's in such great shape the chrome tree is is wonderful but anyway i'm just rambling so guys um i got a third one and uh i don't i don't know how many it's going to take for me to build one but but i do have more than more than one now so rest assured that i could build it if i wanted to but i am so thankful that you guys uh chose to watch this video um i appreciate all you do as far as your support for my channel um don't forget to go to the facebook group and join over there don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed I need I, it helps us content creators subscriptions help us to further our audience obviously I appreciate you that have subscribed if you haven't subscribed please go hit the subscription button also go check out hobby nut models um, none of these came from hobby nut models but you never know what you're going to find over there because mark does things like this he goes to swap meets he goes to, to to shows and he purchases to sell on the website so go over there and check out hobby nut models grab you some supplies some great mcw paint or anything else you need for the hobby also the teespring store go check it out grab a t-shirt mug sticker whatever um, and if you want to become a patreon patreon member Sometimes you get to see stuff that you don't get to see on YouTube. And I'd appreciate your support over there. If you can, if you can't, I totally understand. But guys, I do appreciate you watching this video. And um, I'm done. So until the next one, I will have a short eBay haul and some other things very, very shortly. And some other comparison videos that will be very interesting. So uh, don't go anywhere. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. You take care. See ya.